it up a notch, it's time to puff it up. I'm about to get back in the gym, it's time to puff it up. I gotta get right with myself, it's time to puff it up. Going hard for the fame, it's time to puff it up. I'm about to turn it up a notch, it's time to puff it up. I'm about to get back in the gym, it's time to puff it up. I gotta get right with myself, it's time to puff it up. Yo, 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 what's poppin' TNJ family? It's your boy yet again. This is your boy Jojo. Your boy Tim, man. Hey man, why you why you sound so down, man? Let's 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 try that again. Let's let's rewind that. Let's try that again. Yo, what's poppin' TNJ family? It's your boy yet again. It is your boy Jojo. And your boy Tim. There, there you go, a little bit better. And we are back to y'all again. And guess what time it is? Guess what time it is? It is foot, football season. We are back again. Man. What? 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 But we are back again to talk about the thing that we love to talk about the most. Football. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get jump on into it. We ain't gotta waste no time starting with high school first. Let's talk about high school football. So in this great city of Tallahassee in the great state of Florida, we got your area teams of Lincoln High School, Gabby. Uh, Rickards, um, Childs, Leon, Bam, U High, Florida High, JP the Second, Gaston County, North Florida Christian, Monroe. Well, Monroe East Gaston, that's not. That's not telling us. Well, yeah, but you can still, but we but still, we count, can still them. count them though, yeah, because they all eight five zero. If you really think about it, so you know we got. That's pretty much. It's been a lot of transferring. A lot of transferring. A lot of high school transferring. A lot of teams ain't gonna look the same as they did last year. A lot of teams looking totally different. A lot of teams lost a lot of players. I think Lincoln lost just about all they starters. You got some incoming. Um, I know you got some guys that transferred over from various schools. I'm not gonna put where they came from. I there, but just know they. Lincoln, you know what I'm saying? They, uh, Lincoln done put together. Lincoln and stacked up. You got you got incoming senior Jamarion Stevens, um, DN. Um, you got KJ, KJ coming. You know what I'm saying? I think I don't know what classification is. He a senior, junior. I think it's senior. Incoming senior. And then you also, I mean, then you got your returning. Players on defense. Yeah, Aiden gonna be the starting quarterback. Now, who you got as I already know who you say yo, but who do you have as your one two running back? Sebesky. Yeah, Sebesky. He can get you a lot Sebesky of yards. Sebesky is going to be that. 
the best and, and, and if I'm getting and if I'm getting the name wrong, please excuse me. But Sebesky is oh, that type name. is that type of bat that's gonna give you that on on the third and one, second and one, second and inches. You know what I'm saying? He gonna give you that, and he gonna give you more. No, cause cause he can tote that rock, and he and he is not afraid to run you over. So. They was taking the rich guy in the elemental running back trying to put him at wide receiver. But if okay, you think about it, in. they got three, they got three go-to bats that they can easily go to. Like, yeah. if, you know what I'm saying? Like if somebody, you know what I'm saying, if somebody get tired of God or or knock on wood, you know what I'm saying, somebody get hurt or anything like that, they can easily go one, two. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it they won't miss a beat. You know what I'm saying? Like because all three of them bring something to the table when it comes to that position. Yeah, I know, and I know they had that boy Fred Alexander back there, but I don't think he even, I don't know what's going on with that situation. I ain't seen him at Midnight Madness, so I don't know. I ain't speaking on it. But going on to the wide receiver core, um, you got David Hogan, Makai, you got Makai um, Maddox. Uh, David Hogan. Shit. Man, we love our they powerhouse on defense. Raylan Wilson. That's well, all that alone. Deep. We don't get to the defense. I'm just, you know, like the field position to win on offense. You got at the wide receiver position. You got David. Coach Fuki's son. He's straight on um, special teams. I mean, especially. Yeah, and he also, you know, on the defense too. He, if you want to go back and watch this today, it was not one, two, one. I think it was three pieces in that three MCA, piece. in that MCA. So we on the lookout on that defense, on that defensive side of the ball too, especially on they like they linebackers. You got uh incoming sophomore Cody uh Cody Chambers. He gonna be playing a little bit of uh, I'm not mistaken, nipple or D B. Be on the lookout for number 31, Cody Chambers, and I don't know Dylan's number. Okay, Dylan. I don't know. What, I, I, I don't know his official number. I think the official number 24. Oh, okay. But be on the lookout for those uh, incoming saw incoming saw boys, and then you also got the, you know, the one. I mean, ain't really Raylan Wilson. You know what I'm saying? You ain't really got to say too much about that. That's the Bell Cow your defense right there. That's your that's your that's your one that's gonna lay it on the line for the defense. You know. I just feel like the team that Lincoln gotta play this year. Yo, they got a they got a schedule, but I think that what I saw when uh from LCA on on down, bro, like that defense is gonna be that defense. I, I got the utmost confidence in that defense. And that offense, bro, like, as long as they can keep it together, bro, like, and get the ball where it need to be, you know what I'm saying, the offensive line with Connor leading it, you know what I'm saying, holding up that line for your, uh, for, um, your cuz or, um, or uh, Jay Sean or Sebesky to run through. Bro, I, bro, I, I got the, I can, I'm gonna go out on the limb, and I, and I say, two games. Yeah. Could be God though, bro. They could be God. I think Knightsville the team, could be God. I think the team that could get them was a team last year. They should have got them. Knightsville could be God. I don't even got them losing them. The Knightsville, bro. Could be God. 
I think Nike. I think they can beat Nike. It ain't even the team that I'm worried about. It's just that environment. Them boys go down that environment. F that environment, shit, man. Shit, we said that last know, year. But you know what? That's a good thing to you think about it, though, bro. I would love going into that environment, bro. Rowdy is Rowdy is all get out, right? Some and going home, fans, bro. Though. And, and, and bro, leaving it all out there on that field, bro, and letting them boys go out there and do their thing and, and shutting that crowd up, bro. Oh, bro, I would, bro, I would live for that if I'm, bro, if I'm, hey, man, PSA to the league control, y'all, bro, I, I would live for that. I would live for that. And the reason, it ain't because I think they trash, they can keep five games. I feel like we can got a lot of bonding niggas. A lot of players that came in, not really last minute, but to the end of like summer workouts, and they got a lot of connection. They got a lot of connection they gotta do. I feel like Aiden gotta, he gotta learn his receivers. He gotta learn his receivers. That boy KJ, he can be some serious. I know I seen that for myself. He can be some serious, but he just gotta be able to get the ball to him. And that old line looking guy, bro. They get their chemistry up, that's when everything gonna start falling the line. But I know they got a couple of big name games at the beginning of the season that's gonna really either gonna make them or break them. I think they'll be all right, man. But you got other teams in the in the city, not to, you know, leave it all on Lincoln. But you know, you got records. I think records gonna I think records still gonna be records this year, bro. Yeah, like they still gonna be records, but what shot me with records is that seven on seven, they snap, but then LCA camp that we did, I, I didn't see the same energy, man. I, it's totally, I say every One of day. the biggest things, and that's my alma mater, one of the biggest things going with that, though, but is they got to stay disciplined. That's one That's one of the things that they, they got to stay disciplined. Like, anything could be said to them and they can just, you know what I'm saying, lose focus. They got to stay disciplined. Like, if they can stay disciplined, bro, like, if you go back and watch the spring game, bro, like, they they had the coach pulled in together, and then all of a sudden, bro, it was like they were focused. So if Rickers can stay disciplined, Rickers going to be straight this year. God be coming off of last year, bro, I don't know. I personally don't see God be I feel like if they just lost their top receiver. I, I don't know, bro. That's a, that's Running back, and he's straight. Quarterback, I think he might be out for the season. He got hurt. I think so. You think he come back? Sources are telling me. Well, I ain't gonna say sources, but I have a from a very reliable source that it might not be for the whole season. Yeah. Might as well be for the season. By the time he come back, this season gonna be done. I don't know, man. We we shall see, cause he, if we. This season will be done by the what time. What about what, what you back. think about Leon? Leon, do you think they? All these schools we call them beside Lincoln got new coaches. This ain't gonna be possible. Like this. The problems that I see behind Lincoln, I don't see a lot of teams beating them. Nah, I don't. I don't see a lot of teams getting past them. Getting past what? Lincoln. Not Which is teams. why I'm surprised. That's why you said four to five losses, bro. I got two. It's like, four to five losses, but it's not local teams four to five losses. It's out of town games. It's teams that got a one team is a team that they beat on a what, a fumble pickup. They picked up the score. Lincoln beat them. Bar Barton Trail and Barton Barton Trail come here this year. I got Barton Niceville. Trail. I got them losing the Barton Trail. Just gonna get their boot smoke when they come up here. Bro, I'm putting if you don't if you don't notice, I'm putting a lot of pressure on them Trojans this year, bro. Like yeah, Barton of, Trail is gonna come up here and get their boot smoke, bro. They got Barton Trail. They got Niceville. They got Dillon. Not Dillon. Dillard. That's the that's the school. I ain't gonna get the two losses that I got. And you already know I'm I'm 
biases, I'm biased as all get out when it comes to my alma mater, so you already know I'm gonna say rich. But then Dilla is my other one, because Dilla is a true South Florida powerhouse. Like, if y'all don't know who Dilla High School is, go look them up. They're a true powerhouse. All right, that's the, them the, them the, them the, my two teams, but Dilla is a team that I don't work because they, like, bro, they, they, they pipeline to these, to these universities, bro. So, those are my two with Dilla. But, I want to talk about, you know, some college okay, football. I got them losing. Well, hold on. Who you got them? I got Lincoln losing to Martin Trail, mm-hmm. Tom Quick, and Dick. Nice bit really don't even count. That's just a preseason, like a preseason game. That don't count. So you really only got them losing three? Yeah, because Nice bit ain't going to count. Nice okay, so that's better than three. five. I get them. Why well, I say four or five, so I get them three. That sounds off. A whole lot better than what you said. And he could still could be a half, though, because there's a lot of games. Lee got a schedule. He got Palm Beach. That's the second game. They go to Barton Trail. That's the fourth game. They got Cockwood. That's the fifth game of the season. They got Honor. That's the eighth game of the season. And then they got Dillard. That's the ninth game of the season. And they close out the season with Florida High. So, they season is, they got a lot of games that they could lose. It's real course for me. It ain't iffy for me because I want to segue it to some college football. Now, y'all already know when it comes to college football in the state of Florida, what's that powerhouse? Yo. Y'all, y'all know when it comes to the powerhouse in college football in the state of Florida, when it comes, right? Give me, give me one reason why you think they're not their powerhouse, and I can give you a reason and a half why I know they're not a powerhouse. I mean, I don't have to give you no reasons, bro. I, I mean, definitely. The rings speak for themselves, bro. The rings. Honestly, when you talk the coach, about the coach speak for itself, bro. Bro, yeah, coach is not what the you coaching think. staff speaks no. for itself, bro. I've, I the, quarterback, I've, the quarterback, I've the quarterback. You okay? I'm gonna I'm put you on the spot. Who would you rather same, have, Tyler same. Van Dyke or Jordan Travis? Right now, Jordan Travis. He beat you. He beat Tyler Van Dyke last year. Let's not. Let's be smart. With him. Let's be smart with no. Let's be. Let's, did let's he not, really did be he smart not, with. Did he not beat him? Let's really be smart with. I have so, seen quarterbacks have 300, 400 yards and still lose the game. You're right, but I eat Tyler Van Dyke. I eat Tyler Van Dyke, right? Right. So you wouldn't take Tyler Van Dyke over Jordan Travis. I know a lot of Florida State fans would. I, I don't. I know a lot of Florida State fans would. I know a lot. I know, that a, would. Lot, I know a lot of Florida State I know. Players. I know a lot that would, bro. That's why y'all going off Jordan Travis. Man, Jordan Travis. Like, Jordan Travis came in without that. We got two Our years of tape. Oh, bro, stop. We got two years of tape on Jordan Travis, bro. So don't act like. No, I'm not talking about Jordan Travis. We in my state. I'm saying he came in without turning to. He wasn't even focused on. Like he just came in like as a backup. But he's got but two years of starting he, tape on He him. definitely we had to do. He got two become years a starter, a starter, and I really think he got two years of starting tape on him now. He do, and he's really highly talked about right now. Highly talked about to do what? Any other, quarterback, any other quarterback, we could have probably talked about it. But Jordan Travis, I know what that man been through. And I know what, what has he been through? Bro? I mean, meaning like with the, with the different coaches. Like he had to go through the different coaches and shit. He still stuck with the shit because anybody would have fucking transferred. I know I would have transferred. All the coaches and all the full shit he had to go on the campus and shit. I would have transferred out. He stuck with it. That's, that's what I'm rocking with. Honestly, I wasn't even rocking with him at first when he first came to stay. Like, he won because he won because he was trash. I just wasn't rocking with him. So that's your man. And you gonna sit beside him. Yeah, I got I got Joel Travis over here, buddy. So Joel Travis can definitely snap. Why I say that? Because at 
say no disrespect to Tyler Van Dyke, but I just feel like I prefer a running quarterback. The lead in college football, how it is now, you got to have a quarterback that can take off. And honestly, Ta- I pick over Ta- what? Ta- I pick Garcia hey. over Tyler Van Dyke for y'all. And I just pick him because he's, I know Garcia can take off. Ain't his name Garcia? I know Garcia can take off. I, hey, I just prefer and I'm not comparing Tyler Van Dyke to this guy at all. But Ty, uh, Tom Brady has shown you, bro, you do not have to be a mobile quarterback. And, and, but in the, in the game of football, to accomplish your goal, bro. Well, this is seven, seven, champ, seven championships have told have taught you that. So, with, with, so much hold on, has changed. Hold on. With weapons. With weapons. With weapons. Now, Tyler Van Dyke is gonna have the weapons. What weapons do y'all have? At receiver. You got Frank Lassen that transferred over from Clemson. You also have Xavier Restress Pro who, who sprung out last season and is due to have a breakout year this year at receiver. You also have- But we can't go by no dude to have a breakout season. No, I'm saying- No, no, no. what I'm saying is he's going to basically take a step forward from what he did last season, considering last year was his first Full year on the field for Miami, again, he's gonna take another step again, forward. Is I'm what I'm say, saying. You can't say he's gonna take a step forward. Why not? Yeah, why not? Why different not? Team but but you asking me why am I so who is my weapons? And I'm telling you, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm giving you my weapons. So you got Frank Lassen, the transfer from Clemson, you got Xavier Richards, bro. you also have uh, Romello Branson coming from Miami Northwestern who played last season. You also have uh, Bashar Smith also at the tight end position. You also uh, you got Will Mallory um, and Elijah Arroyo um, at the running back position. Jalen Knighton. You got Don Chaney. You got Henry Parrish. You got uh, Trevon Citizen. That running back room. So like I said, he's going to have the, the he's going to have the weapons. So I, I'm not worried about him needing to take off. He can take, he'll take off if he needs to take off. Go back and watch the Virginia game where he he scampered for 45 yards and, and got the touchdown on, on the sideline. So, I mean, he'll take off if he needs to take off. So I'm not worried about him taking off. So. I mean, you, you asked and I gave it to you. Y'all, hey, listen, it's not meant for you. Know, but you, you know what? Go, you that, that's the thing. That's the that's the beauty about that's the beauty about art. Art is a hey, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, bro. So it's not meant for y'all to see it. Just like when the when the when the product is done, and then when you see it, then you be like, oh, you know, okay. See, so they was talking about it at first, and I didn't understand what they, they, they what, what they was ranting and raving about at first. But now that I see it flourish. Before my eyes, guess what? Let me tell y'all who I think Miami got over the top. Like, I'm just gonna keep it a book. And I'm gonna say that. Why? Because y'all got a coach that, wait, I don't know, what is his winning percentage is 0. 0.500 percentile? I, 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 don't, I don't see it. This man called Mario Cristobal, really? I think he's. It, it ain't no disrespect. I think it's time for us to just. Bro, and, and, and why I say like, Willie Tiger, bro? This man compared Mario Cristobal to Willie Tiger. I'm gonna let you explain. Well, I said that. Why? Because, bro, y'all got y'all hopes up. Why are you in the refrigerator? Because y'all got y'all hopes up about a coach, just like we did with Willie Tiger. Cause you know I was on that Willie Tiger train hard. You, you know that. I was on that Willie Tiger train. But do you believe Willie, but see that, but see, this is where I am going to debunk your argument, bro. Mario Cristobal has, it, uh, is talked about in great lights, bro. Like, go or, back and what, watch. What, 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 go, no. hey, matter of fact, your boy, he, SEC analyst, Paul Feinbaum, puts him in the circle in it, bro. Like, bro, like, they talk glowingly about Mario. So I can't allow you to disrespect that man 
and call that man a Willie Tiger, bro. Because he's I, I far, didn't, I didn't, he is I didn't nothing say he was a Willie, like Willie he Tiger. He's Willie a Tiger. way better recruiter than Willie Tiger. He's a way better coach than Willie Tiger. So don't ever uh, put I, Willie I Tiger in the same sentence as Willie, Mario Crystal. Willie bro, Tiger was he took a, a dead, bro. He took a dead Miami class last season, bro, recruiting wise, bro, and brought it to top 15. We were sitting at the bottom six, bro. We took over that class, bro. By the time recruiting was over, we was in the top 15, bro. Bro, Willie Tiger was a great coach. I mean, a great recruiter. Who, who really Tiger didn't recruit? I'm, but I'm, I'm giving Travis you my Hunter, example. Travis but Hunter I'm clearly said, you, I'm Willie Tiger wasn't the reason example. why he didn't come to state. He didn't come because of the Duco, no offense. Wasn't, it had nothing to do with Attack. If Willie Tiger would have still been up, he would have still been up. Florida State when Travis Turner Willie Tiger had been gone. Yeah, he said he still had a great relationship with Willie Tiger. Yeah, he said he had a great relationship. Like I, I can't really dog Willie Tiger on his recruit. Willie Tiger was a great recruiter. I, I, I can't knock that. We haven't had the same recruitment history since just, Willie Tiger left. Did you, but this man compared Mario Cristobal to Willie Tiger. Like, I just don't, like, I, I can't get... I can't wrap my head around that. Like, How many games has with Mario Cristobal? Bro, it's, oh, oh, okay, so you going off a of win-loss record. That's, yeah, that's what you going off of? That's what I'm going off of. Okay. Look, well, look it up. Look it up. Like, bro, like, don't, would, no one would ever compare Willie Tiger to Mario Cristobal, bro. No, no one would ever do that. Only a salty Florida State fan would do that, bro. Mario Cristobal record, his career record at major school is 16 mm -hmm. and, uh, and bowl games. With two Rose Bowl this, this 12 games, two, this 12, two, this 12 years. Two Pac-12 championships at Oregon. Um, what else you, I mean, bro, I mean. Your, your win record is a point. He's a lot with, bro, like I say. I'm going to say 25. You, you, like what's, I what's said, 25.8. Hey, 25, 25 plus 8. Whatever. You will see it for yourself. That nigga teeth was buttery. Damn, we got to stop putting people on camera, bro. That's, I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all would have seen what we just, oh, my God. That shit was buttery. Oh, Damn. man. Stop recording people on our camera. Bro, you gotta stop, bro. People gotta start. Let me tell y'all something. If you gonna get on our camera, make sure them teeth brush, because I'm telling you, it was show, bro. Red, them teeth were yellow. Jesus. But, but anyway, like I say, bro, y'all gonna see it, y'all gonna see it, and y'all really gonna see it this year, November 5th. So, I mean, bro, what's, honest, what's this I, thing? I'm still sticking what? with my, my thing I've been saying. I, I need all Florida teams to win. Yeah. So, so who do you got in the playoffs? Who do you think the four teams in the playoffs is gonna be this year? Damn sure I ain't state. It ain't because it ain't because we gonna um, we trash. It's just I, we not going to no damn playoffs this year. Honestly, the four teams I stay in the playoffs is Alabama, Texas, and them. Um, How you got Texas and them? Texas and them they ain't gonna be there with with that two loss record, three loss record. They gonna be in them. Honestly, I see Chase and them with my own little man's game. I'm just going to keep it. Chase, that boy Jimbo Fish is a, That's a coach. That's a coach. That was the big.
biggest mistake for us to ever be with that was that's a coach. Jimbo Fisher, bro. I just don't know, man. Y'all play him too, bro. I, I just, that's what I'm saying. Like, how do you figure like they're gonna be in the playoffs with three? So what, you two, got, three, bro. What happens? Nah, I'm just keeping this shit. Bro. What happens if y'all this play Texas? This ain't about Miami, Miami, bro. This ain't about Miami. Yeah, this not about Miami, but you said you brought her them with the two. I'm I didn't say who they was losing to. I just uh, don't have Texas A&M in the playoffs. I, I, I got them losing three games. I just two you, or three you games. You asked me my opinion on my teams, and I told you I, don't, I see. I look well, honestly. I see. I, I don't know how how it could even be possible. Is it? Is that the same company? I don't follow the SEC. I think, yeah, but they, they're both in the SEC, but I don't know what side they're on. But I could, both, I could possibly see Texas and them in Alabama in that championship, bro. That's, I'm just, that's just my two possible top teams right now. And that's only because it ain't even been week one. A lot can change by the, by the, the fifth week. It could, but, hey. I, and my, my, well, you didn't finish saying your top four. Georgia, I got it. Georgia, Georgia, Georgia um, I got Texas A&M, Alabama, Georgia, and I'm gonna say, hmm, well, I'm just gonna say my top three. I ain't gonna get no top four because I don't really know. I'm gonna go nothing else about nobody else right now, so I'm gonna say my top three. I'm gonna go USC. Alabama. Oh, I forgot USC. Got Georgia. And I'm gonna throw as my wild card Ohio State. Oh, I will say Oklahoma, but them boys, I heard they that. They in shambles right now. Yeah, they in shambles. They, they in shambles they, right they, now. I'm so. trying to figure out why every school old boy go to. They got some shit like that. Yeah, yeah so yeah, I'm starting to think he might. We'll see about that. Now, I mean, so let's go ahead and wrap this up talking about NFL football. Y'all already know. You already know them fans up. You got your boy uh, Tua coming back for his third year. He ready to shut these haters the elf up forever. I'm ready for him to shut these haters up the, the elf up forever. I'm not understanding the haters, man. You got a quarterback that can't. Stuff here came in and still did his thing. Didn't even really have a losing season last year. It's just how the, have a losing season. Really? how the conference set up. It's just you got to win basically everything to get to where you trying to go. Facts. It's not like and that's what a lot of people fail to realize. Like Miami Dolphins, they ain't lose. They they didn't lose last year. They just didn't have enough games to get where they wanted to go. Facts. But I feel like with Tyree Waddle. That offensive line being we is. Gotta get rid of him. He, I, they already in trade talks, but they already talking to teams about him. He got to go. After he made that, I, I knew it after that uh, media day session, bro. After practice, when he said what, when he said what he said, bro, I was like, oh, yeah, it's time to get him out of the organization. Basically, he, he ain't getting the opportunities he deserves. If you think about it, bro. You have been injured for the better part of two years, bro. Like. And yeah. like Coach McDaniel say, you go, you go get the opportunity. What you saying, bro, who the who you gonna get opportunity? Over? I mean, Waddle snapped last year as a freshman. You, I mean, as a as a what? A rookie. rookie. He snapped you, as a rookie. And you were nowhere near better than us uh, uh, getting close to Tyreek Hill. You know what I love that we picked up. Uh, Chase Edmonds and um, Roheem Mustard. Yes, Roheem Mustard. That boy, that got speed. He dead. They say he, he damn near faster than goddamn what's his name. All he need is all he need is that line to hold up for him, which I think Miami did a great job in the offseason tinkering with that line, grabbing the boy from um, the Saints, Terry on uh, uh, Teron on 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 said one one of the if not the best offensive linemen in the game right yeah, now. But Teron Armstead, uh, one of one of, if not the best offensive line in the uh, league right now. Um, so I love what they did. They they went aggressive. They gave Tua everything he needs to succeed. I think he will succeed. 
uh, watching videos from um, from training camp and stuff like that. The accuracy is there. I, I just think it's sad that he has to prove himself to the critics. But you know, when you ain't given a fair shake, you know this is what comes with the territory. Um, defense is that defense gonna be the same. Like X gonna do his thing. That defensive line leading with Crystal Will. I mean leading with Emmanuel Auburn. And you got Christian Wilkinson. You also got your boy Jalen Phillips. Um, yes, he did. And then you got uh, Jerome Baker heading up that linebacker for Don't forget about Melvin Gordon. And Melvin Gordon. Oh, no, yeah. no, Melvin. Mel Melvin Ingles. Yeah. I forgot about him. He's so, many. yeah. So, watch out for him, too. And then that secondary, like I, like I say, no need to explain with that secondary. So, I, I got the Dolphins in the playoffs this year. Where they, where they end up. Bro, and I feel like what really made our what's gonna make our team better is our secondary tracks against them. That's true. And water. That's true. Bro, who, who, who else in the league faster than them? Facts. Let's, let's not, bro, let's just keep that shit a book. Right? That make our team a lot better. When you practice against this man every practice, every day. Every day you get 10 times better because you practice against him every day. That's facts. Come on, man. I, I feel like, bro. We sure see about the book. So who do you got as your Super Bowl prediction? Who you got going? Who you got going into the going to the big dance in February? Uh, I know Miami. I got Miami Dolphins. Yeah. Okay, I like that. I'm a dolphin, bro, but I love your pick, bro. I, I see it too. I just feel that they're gonna fall short in the conference finals. I mean, in the, in the conference championship. To um, to Cincinnati. I think it's going to be a repeat from last year, but Rams and Cincinnati in the Super Bowl again. That's my Super Bowl prediction. Rams and Cincinnati with the Rams win again. And Aaron Donald going back to back, getting his ring. Matt Stafford going back to back, getting his ring. So, because you got to think, that defense, they, they lost Von Miller. They also picked up Bobby Wagner. It's a possibility that they can still lose them, but it's also a possibility that they can beat them. So, so we're trying to recruit hard to the field. Yeah, I'm doing yeah, yeah, that shit. I'm probably making it. I'm probably making it. I think in the city of New York, I think he's done. The city of New York. Bro, like, and I don't think cold weather really suits Odell for real, for real, bro. Like, it's not a good thing. You know, it's not a good thing. You know, it's not a good thing. You know, it's not a good thing. Well, with that being said, we want to thank y'all for coming and kicking with us, man. Talk some football yet again, man. Like I say, football is in the air. We got high school, we got college, and we got NFL. We're going to be coming to y'all week after week with videos, reactions, us talking about the games, what's to come, what's the, you know, our predictions going throughout the week, who we got game by game gonna win you know what i'm saying so i i i love it i can't wait to bring it to y'all i can't and, and i hope that y'all are eager and willing i mean eager and ready to watch these videos that we're going to be throwing at y'all way and another thing that i want y'all to start doing we dropping all this good content for y'all we got the week football leave us a comment and 
share. We we content. get we get a bunch of likes and stuff, but we ain't get no comments. Comment, let us know that you want. Comment, them. comment, comment, and share and share and share and share and share. Please, please. The views ain't matching. The comments ain't matching the views. Yes. So I ain't comment that. Let us know how y'all feel. Let us know what y'all want us to do. What's next? Keep us. Keep help us. Help us help you to bring this content to y'all. You know, give us more, you know what I'm saying? Give us some, what we need to bring to y'all more, what we need to talk about more. Just comment, share the content, hit that subscribe button, like it. You know what I'm saying? Like, do, do please do that for us, TNJ family. Oh, yeah. And we would really, really, really appreciate it. And with that being said, it is your boy Jojo. And your boy Teddy. And we are out. Up and up. It's time to pump it up. I'm about to get back in the gym. It's time to pump it up. I got to get right with myself. It's time to pump it up. Going hard for the fun. It's time to pump it up. I'm about to turn it up and up. It's time to pump it up. I'm about to get back in the gym. It's time to pump it up. I got to get right with myself. It's time to pump it up.